and let's begin and we do have eight of pentacles and two of wands spreading your wings dedicated effort to spread to spread your wings so probably move on is a challenge eh, Taurus? moving moving on it might be a problem making choices might be a problem because we are hurt sadness and isolation three of swords we are going through heartbreak and it takes time and it takes healing and it takes perspective and um disconnection from the energies right that this person brought into your life a partnership you had on uh, three of pentacles reach out and spread your wings for some of you you are guided to ask for help for some of you, you are asked to collaborate with this person while spreading your wings and walking away. It's the two of wands, right? Crossroads. Um, yeah, three of pentacles and the eight of cups. Emotional disconnection from a partnership. Kind of like the universe asking you to move on um, from whatever happened in the past. But let's see. Let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And we do have the moon, might be a Pisces. Um, and you know what, um, Taurus, you know how it feels? It feels like the universe is asking you to confront kind of yourself. The person is looking in the mirror, confront your fears, confront your shadows, confront your low vibrational energies that you have. Ask themself, uh, ask yourself, why do you have them? Uh, maybe this person, that's what they brought into your life and it's time to clear something out. For some of you, it's about emotions dark emotions for some of you it's uh, fighting depression anxiety staying the course right and um but i feel more it's um the shadows that the moon you know overwhelming emotions and dark emotions that we might have going through a heartbreak so let's have past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual The current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the deck, justice. For some of you, we need to confront something. We need to confront the justice, right? <laughs> and the karma and whatever is given to us. But I mainly feel that because justice is all about balance. It's all about detachment. So we are guided to confront and detach Taurus, two, two major arcana, Libra Pisces energy, but it's more, I feel, more a sense of balance, emotional balance that we need to work on at this time. So we know it's about lessons and pieces of advice. Um, so Taurus, in the past, you and this person, we do have the son. You might have had a, a child, a son with this person, and we do have um, the hermit, which is the energy of seeking. Uh, the light is the energy of um, wisdom is the, the energy of understanding a little bit going in retreat but you know how it feels it feels like you trying to understand what's going on you seeking the light you trying to stay in the light while this connection um, became quite challenging right uh, we saw the three of swords so separation divorce uh, walking away emotional disconnection somehow um, the connection got broken right and we tried this is um, seeking the light. This is seeking the happiness, right? Or to keep to keep the happiness uh, within the home, right? Um, it has the energy of um, even in tormented waters, staying in the light or seeking to stay in the light. Um, it has the energy of lessons and it has the energy of awakenings. Um, Toto, so probably, I don't know how harsh it was, but this is also the energy of, um, you know, it took that lesson for us to understand something, for us to confront the fears, for us to um, go back in balance and detach from something um, that was challenging, right? The, the hermit is also the lessons from within, right? From our past experiences or this experience in particular. Now, Taurus, this person, they do have the hierophant and the devil, so probably... Uh, the devil is also about fears, right? So I believe both of you are somehow afraid of this. But at the same time, um, this is a toxic commitment by excellence, right? And it's interesting, you have two major arcana. They have two major arcana and the overall energy, two major arcana. So, I mean, it's kind of like the universe uh, confirming that this was meant to be and it was on your path and it had to happen 
for all the lessons and for all the, the awakenings that we got in a process. But again, devil and commitment, they might have had, um, you know, a phobia when it came to commitment. They might have indulged into, um, you know, some energies of, um, of um, codependency, anger, jealousy, and, um, and just messing up, right? Something that looked solid um, to us. And, and this is also your energy, the Hierophant, right? But then it became toxic, at least on their side. Mutual energies um, between you and your person. While you both got hurt and you both knew it, um, Ace of Swords is really the understanding that something is wrong and something cannot um, keep going, right? Something cannot be uh, continuing to happen right we do have rest and reconsider so some of you had to put boundaries and limits some of you had to protect yourself in this if you ask them they felt that they had to protect themselves because the commitment that you guys were having um, became a little bit harsh right we do have the justice and the moon so maybe some of you you are actually getting a divorce at this time uh, with this person and and it's um it's a, no, a transformative awakening kind of energy here. And we know what needs to happen, right? Ace of Swords, you talked about, it was said, it was discussed, um, you know, vented out and probably, um, you know, justice is the only way. Now, Taurus, guess what? You do have release and you do, you do have confront Scorpio energy and Pisces energy. Again, two major arcana. So we are letting go right now, right? We have a separation and we might feel a little bit afraid at, the, at this time, afraid to lose them, afraid of the future, afraid because we don't know what's going on. And the universe tells you twice today, we need to confront our fears with this ending. What's the worst that can happen? And once we see and once we have an idea, well, we can have a plan about it, right? A plan A, B, and C based on scenarios. but. Somebody here ne needs to release fears. That is nothing to be afraid of unless your life is in danger. In danger. And then I do hope you know what to do, right? And, uh, and you definitely know there are people there to help you. So, um, but I'm, I'm sensing this energy of releasing that might be a challenge at this time and, uh, and confronting yourself about the need to release this, right? Maybe you feel that you need to keep going uh, but actually, you know, um, you need to set, to sit yourself down and have a real conversation about what are the fears to release somebody and just let them go on their own path. Now, this person of yours, um, Taurus, they have the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Honestly, it feels like they are at crossroads spreading their wings because they have options. Somebody here is making choices because they have options with the seven of cups but also they might be a little bit uh, you know contemplating has an energy of you know now that i need to leave now that i need to go now that i need to choose which one i'm going to choose they have they also have dreams and they also are in that energy of decisions a little bit lighter energy than i than yourself taurus right because right now it's major arcana over major arcana so major lessons uh, major understandings, major awakenings, major fears too, right? Probably that's why the universe is kind of saying, how about we just look the fear in the eyes and then we can, right, uh, make a plan. But now we, we kind of need to challenge that fear that you feel inside of you. What is the worst thing that can happen, right? Mutual energies between the two of you, self-protection and pause. Just breathe and open up. Four of Pentacles is holding on to money while the other person is holding on to their mental health. Um, you might have a fear of money, Taurus. You might have a fear of not having enough at this time with the Four of Pentacles while this person is in the Four of Swords energy. It's the energy of let me plan, let me strategize, let me heal my mind. I don't want to talk to anybody. I want to be in my bubble. And four, right? It's four for foundation, but I kind of feel that this foundation is a little bit um, probably shook, I would say. Um, but nonetheless, transformative, beautiful energies of 
Now I know my lesson. Next step, I confront my fears, right? Um, yeah, let's see the outcome of this. We do have the Two of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. I love this. Coming together, this is the energy of love. If you are wondering if they still have emotions for you, yes, they do, but they are struggling, right? To find balance, Two of Pentacles. And it's, it has the energy of choosing between love and work, choosing between personal balance and love. It's number two. But the answer is yes when it comes to love, but they are struggling, right? At this point. And we have the sun again. Mutual energies. Um, um, why do I say mutual? The energy coming their way. We do have the four of pentacles and we do have the sun. Right? Holding on. If you guys have a kid, this person will not let go of the kid. Um, it has the energy probably of wanting to have them, he or she, whatever, you know. Um, sun is also the energy of a child. Um, they also want to be happy. This is um, Leo energy and it has the energy of um, shining of happiness and opening up while still protecting themselves, you know. Four of Pentacles is the energy of being guarded. It, um, it's the energy of holding on to money, but not to love, I guess. Mutual energies between the two of you, simply love and reach out. For some of you, Taurus, this is um, the energy coming your way. Right? Energies of reconciliation and partnership. This is also the energy of them wanting to open up and offer love to you again. I do believe they love you. Of course, love is uh, on your side and it's, um, you know, it has um, the energy of I have to find balance in this love. While they might be a little bit still guarded in October, but at the end of the day, we have simply love and reach out. So we, somebody here, Taurus, wants to reach out and, um, and love you again. Ah, that is, that, you know how it feels. That was shine. It is darkness right now and we move back into the sun, right? That's their energy. And it's interesting, the mirroring. You had the sun in the past with the energies of, um, of wisdom and um, introspection. And moving forward, they have the energy of the sun with the energy of being guarded a little bit. So kind of, you know, it took you a moment. Definitely you are not on the same page when it comes to spirituality, to truth, awakenings to love, to how to manage this uh, difficult situation. Two completely different energies here. And uh, the awakening that you had in the past, they are having it in October. And um, again, simply love and reach out. That is a beautiful energy there. Uh, but tell us, let's see if we want them back, right? Maybe the universe has a different ideas, have, has a different idea, sorry. Or different ideas, why not? So emotional freedom. We need to break free. Honestly, with the death and the um, moon energy, it is about, right, us being a little bit the slaves of um, dark emotions. And you are asked to break free from that. We need healthy um, emotions, Taurus. It's, oh my God, I never had this ever since I'm using this deck. Emotional freedom and sexual freedom. So you are asked to break the bond and you are asked to break the physical bond that you have with this person. And if you are still having like a, a sexual relationship with them, no emotions, no sex, just pure love. I feel that you are guided to love somebody else here, to open up to new love, to let them break free from this person and just focus on love. Um, taught us the heart of the matter that is more going on than meets the eye. So when it comes to love, there is something on, uh, something going on, something happening that you don't know about, has something to do with love. Maybe they have somebody, maybe you have somebody that is something there right that is more going on than meets the eye when it comes to this love now let's have the energies we need to put back into the flow oh yeah emotional freedom sexual freedom and we stay friends friendliness right you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections yep we stay friends 
service. I feel good when I can help others. I do feel, um, Taurus, that uh, the universe is asking you to collaborate. We do have the partnership energy here. We stay friends. We cooperate. Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. It's paired with the love, right? So we are looking for what we need to go for is to have some satisfaction when it comes to love. And you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. I love this. We do have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn and bottom of the deck denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And it's interesting, right? I acknowledge my fear, which is confronting your fears. You received twice that advice. Confront your fears. I acknowledge my fears, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And guess what? We do have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness, Taurus. Ah, uh, we have to let go. They, they might come with love. That it, it has an energy of opening up and being illuminated by what happened. Awakened to what happened. But the universe is kind of saying... I mean, it's the first time I'm seeing this. Emotional freedom and sexual freedom. Wow. Um, let's ask for some general guidance. Let's see what we, what else we need to uh, hear. Um, so we do, we do have comfort. Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So we need to focus, we are guided to focus on personal comfort and healing a broken heart. We have take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and for more meaningful opportunities. You have comfort and then you have take a divine, th take a divinely guided chance and it speaks of comfort. So whatever you feel comfortable about, if you feel you need to change it, the universe saying, let's take a chance. Oh my God, are you kidding me, Taurus? You know what to do. So you have comfort, take a divinely guided chance. Leave the comfort in the past. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. You know what to do. You know all these stories, actually. I am just kind of the tool of the universe saying you again. Well, we leave the past in the past and we break free. So let's... It has a sense of some, somebody being stubborn and denying something that you know... The universe is telling you it's been a while, right? Um, so, hey, they are going through awakenings too, you know? They are going through awakenings too, so. Um, Taras, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.